What's up again guys? Yo it's me, Dovahkeen, and welcome back to my Anno 2205 miniseries. And before we begin, be sure to hit on the subscribe button for more great videos. Okay. In the previous episode, I showcased the Novikov crater and its refugee camps, that generate workforce. In today's vid, I'm gonna present the next sector that I acquired after that, Vanha Plains, the main feature of the Premium Tundra DLC. Well there ain't no other Tundra sectors in the game, so this is its only content. It has a buildable area of 82,200 acres, 10 mountain, and 20 coastal building sites. Anyway, this is just a screenshot from a level 1 corporation but I think that the requirement of one executive, is constant across any level. Not to mention, the Arctic Custodians, represented by Dr. Esther Nyland, being the owner of this sector, is not random, unlike in other sectors. Alright, let's load up Van Her Plains. On credit balance, Van Her Plains is earning 62,700 plus credits. It's not as big as the temperate sectors, cause residents there, only reach the second tier, like in the Arctic and on the moon, but a positive balance nonetheless. As per population on the other hand, my total ecologists, and field researchers there, is at 20,500 plus. Now on its role on my corporate goods network. Van Her Plains supplies the needs of the Kin Nate Protectorate, namely, biocatalysts, and aerogel. And it gets its Arctic needs from there as well, specifically, canned food, stimulants, and quantum computers. For the moon on the contrary, it gets its energy from Novikov Crater. Although it is a tundra sector, it also produces a few temperate goods, namely, water, bio-resin, algae, flax fibers, synth cells, cobalt, and vitamin drinks. And any surplus gets forwarded to Wildwater Bay, the goods hub of my temperate region. On the other hand, for surplus tundra goods, and this by the way is my actual goods panel in Vanha Plains, they stay there and get directly sold to the global market, if they surpass the profitability of goods from other regions, which rarely happens. Also, out of the 10 Tundra goods, only 6 are sellable to the global market. The other 4, moss, natural gas, biocatalysts, and aerogel are prohibited. Ok, let's enter Van Her Plains. The tundra is like a combination of the arctic and temperate regions, but without the stupid heat mechanic, that you have to abide by in the arctic. However, as I've mentioned earlier, residences are similar to that of the arctic. They only reach tier 2, so, although you can easily achieve a positive credit balance, the revenue won't be as high as the temperate sectors. Alright, this is my housing layout here in Van Her Plains. A cluster has an area of 58 by 68 tiles, and is composed of 90 tundra dwellings, 4 community centers, and 1 high security laboratory. 
By the way, the number of community centers and high security labs are variable. If you have multiple clusters, fewer will be needed. Speaking of which, I have six clusters in this sector. Okay, let's go to my production zones. My moss plantation is here at the west. South of that, lies my all-weather parkers and Medabots factories. At the southeast, you can find my nanochips, smart drones, synth cells, bio-resin, and flax fibers facilities. Farther east of that, lies my vitamin drinks, and wool production. North of that, you can find my natural gas drilling rig. And farther north, lies my biocatalysts, and aerogel factories. And as you can see, I have some sort of fancy layout for my aerogel production. A block occupies an area of 18 by 18 tiles, and consists of one ionization chamber, six high-pressure chambers, and two maintenance modules, with a space efficiency rating of 79%. Alright, now on the details of this sector. I got the deep cobalt deposits random sector trait on this one, and it enhances the productivity of cobalt mines by 20%. This trait somehow benefits this sector, cause cobalt's demand in the production of smart drones, is slightly on the high side. It's not a great trait, mediocre to say the least, but it works, so I'm fine with it. Okay, before we go to the sector project, let me talk about marshes. In the beginning, there are seven marsh lands, that will prevent you from expanding in this sector. Draining marshes, is similar to rebuilding bridges in some temperate sectors. They will require resources, consume certain goods, and rare materials, and take time to finish. Draining out all the marshlands is also part of this sector's project. We're understaffed, so you're always a welcome sight. Thanks. I mean it. Although the three seed vaults allow Dr. Nyland to become the merchant of this sector, that is not the true reward of Van Her Plains sector project. In fact, I've already mentioned them back in episode 10, when I featured the Kin Nate Protectorate. Tundra modules, which double the productivity of the facilities they are attached to, namely, Biocatalyst funnels for agriculture and biotech facilities, and aerogel tubes for electronics, energy, and heavy industry facilities. This is actually one of the hardest quest lines in the game because of length. Well, again, Tundra is a premium DLC, and it includes an initial campaign before the sector project. Anyway, like what I said back in my previous episodes, as per the quests that involve goods, which I've highlighted, you really don't have to produce them, just buy them from the global market instead. And there you go. So, like how this video started, now let's end it with another spectacular drone shot.
And, that's all there is for now. Thanks for watching. Also, check out other videos from Sabbath Clan Philippines and don't forget to subscribe. See you on my next vid. Peace out ya. Yeah.